We're going to try and craft a helmet. Now, I kind of went the expensive route and got a hubris circlet with an enchant. The enchant's not the best enchant, but AoE's kind of the thing I actually really want on Orb Storms right now. Because uh, the chaining is great, the damage is pretty good. Um, but the AoE effect in which it can hit the enemies is pretty small, so I have to kind of run to each pack right now. So if I get the AoE, it's going to be nice. Now, there's a few things you can get here on the helmet that are really quite nice. This is a Shaper helmet, and this has, the reason why we chose that is because it has a bunch of supports. It's got increased area effect support, which would be nice. The AoE enchant plus increased area effect. Mm. And it's also got um, Innovate. It's also got Hypothermia as well, which you kind of need some cold damage to activate, but it's not that hard to activate. It's actually all right. It's not too hard to chill enemies, so... Hypothermia would work too, but Innovate, area of effect, and then... With Essence of Horror, we can get Socketed Gems deal 30% more elemental damage. So we can make a pseudo-7 link for our uh, uh, Orb of Storms using that. Right now, it's in Tempest Binding, very cheap. It's also This is also a plus 2 Tempest Binding, so that's quite nice. Plus 2 6 link is actually pretty damn good. So it's not like a huge, huge upgrade over Tempest Binding with a plus 2 like this. Plus 2 Socketed sub, sub, uh, Duration Tempest Binding is really cheap, by the way. It's like 30, 40 chaos. Um, which is really quite nice. So, it, it's not going to be potentially a huge upgrade unless we get pretty lucky. Um, it is actually possible to get Area of Effect, Hypothermia, and Innovate all together, or even maybe, like, Socketed Spells have bonus crit chance. It's an 86 base, so it can definitely get that. Now, I kind of went expensive on the base. You could probably look for Val uh, Stormcore or Orb of Storms and Chance on, like, just a lower tier energy shield base, and that would be just fine, because we don't actually need a lot of energy shield. We're not really going to be rolling this energy shield, just the supports. So literally, the only the, the method is simple. We just spam Essences of Horror on there. <laughs> There's pretty much nothing else to it. I mean, I could try and perfect fossil it up, but again, we don't really care that much about energy shield, so it's not a big deal. Fossils aren't really the best way to go, because although they can help with rolling these, we miss out on the Elemental damage. These are about 10 or 12 chaos each, I believe. And priced at about a divine, which I think is about 12 chaos. So it's a bit of a cost per craft. You maybe get a couple of these 10, 10 chaos each. Wish me luck, I guess. Oof, nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Sir Williams. <laughs> nothing on that first attempt. Rip. Oh, dear. That's real rough. Oof. Nothing, nothing. We got spell crit more elemental damage, but it's like the third tier of spell crit and no supports. Ouchie. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. All right, five more. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. As I, as I was saying, Tempest Binding is really, really just fine to stick with in this case. Crafting something better than this method is going to be rather, rather expensive, potentially. There's a lot of luck involved here on this one, so it's not a super sm smart investment. If the Tempest Binding didn't exist and wasn't so cheap, um, this would be fine just to do until you got, like, maybe one other support, or even just straight up use it as a 5 link like this. Socket of Gems deal 30% more elemental damage in many cases would be fine, but because Tempest of Binding exists, the threshold for our win condition is very high. And that's what I was talking about in my crafting video. I was like talking about like potential success situations versus uh, other alternative options that you can use. It sets the, uh, you know, how expensive it's going to be because of how hard it's going to be you potentially hit it. Crafted in your premium tab for better luck. You know, let me craft in my essence tab. You ready? For the extra RNG. Plus one minion gems. Oh my lord. Pretty bad so far, folks. Pretty bad. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept the elemental damage away. As a corrupt essence modifier. Oh, specifically a corrupt essence modifier. Oh, I see. Yo, how much are uh, how much are how much are glyphic fossils then? <laughs> so you do this, and then you combine it with the advantage of doing that over just using the essence, because the essence is obviously cheaper, right? So you do glyphic, and you combine it with metallic for innovate. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I think we just have to keep gambling on the Essences of Horror. All right, five more Essences of Horror. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, first one's a blank. Second one's a blank. Third one's a blank. Okay. All right, that's... Ooh, ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh. That's pretty good. 
Oh shit. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Unexpected, but very good. Oh damn. Oh damn. Innovate, spell crit, lightning damage to spells, tier one energy shield. Oh shit. Oh damn. Open prefix. Yeah, it'd be nice to put like energy shield on there, but I don't need it. I need life, so I'm gonna put uh I'm gonna put uh life on there. Ugh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we just craft life on this and call it a big win. And then if I'm feeling very adventurous later, we double we double corrupt it <laughs> to try and get plus four. <laughs> but that's very, very adventurous. <laughs> Exceedingly adventurous. You could do plus one to AoE gems as well. If I wanted to sacrifice the life, I kind of don't want to sacrifice the life, though. There's actually some pretty good prefixes you can craft. That open prefix kind of saved the day as well. Yo, that's pretty nice. I think I have to do life. I kind of want to do plus one AOE gems, but I think I, I think I have to do life for now. 70 life, exactly max life roll. Nice. Damn. All right. Well, it took a lot, but we did it. How much did that take? It was like probably like 15 essences of horror. So a solid, uh, solid 200 chaos, <laughs> roughly a solid 200 chaos, but that's a pretty good helmet though. I mean, that's, I feel like that's worth 200 chaos to me. But there we go. Onslaught peak. Innovate, more elemental damage. Spells have 3% crit and bonus lightning damage to all spells, including our storm calls. That's, that's a nice little bonus that affects our storm call there as well. We get uh, we didn't get the increased AoE support, but we still have the 24% Orb of Storms area effect, which is, yeah. That's a nice little bit of an improvement. So I still gained that from the enchant at least. So I did get the enchant. Getting an enchant on a uh, um, the Harbinger helmet getting an enchant on a Tempest Binding is like, no one's enchanting Tempest Binding, so you just can't. You can't get that enchant unless you get it yourself. One in 400? Good luck. I'm gonna... <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna annul this and see if I hit the 3% Fizz is extra cold. <laughs> Look, I'm backing myself into a corner here because if I screw this up, then I need to replace my boots that I'm currently using, which is a bit awkward. Um, so we'll see how we go. Ready? All right, so here's, here's, here's the overall plan, right? Get some uh, Hunter hunter Two-Tone Boots and smush some Elusive Boots with some Tailwind on the on the Hunter Two-Tones and make some ta nice Tailwind Elusive Boots, obviously. Um, these could be used if I remove the Fizz's Extra Cold because right now there's two Redeemer Affixes on this. Um, I'm going to hit the Elusive or the Move Speed, you watch. Oh my god, I actually did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Best possible outcome. Sweet. All right. Cool. I didn't screw. I didn't screw things. I, I can still play my character for now without needing to get other boots, even if I don't and manage to roll the other ones now. I probably should have waited until the end to do that, but uh, I wanted to see whether this would be a valid option or whether I should just get the cheaper R Redeemer two tones. I thought if if I didn't land this, if I screwed these boots. I probably just would have gone for the cheaper Redeemer two tones and then grabbed the cheaper base for Hunter because that would have ended up being a little bit cheaper overall. But since I already have these, I save a lot. I save maybe like 100 chaos or something in trying to roll these in the first place. So I have these now to sacrifice. So we can go Redeemer, no. Hunter, yes. And these are Evasion Energy Shield, 1.8x. All right, so this is going to be our target base. So we need to roll Tailwind and Tailwind alone on this. Now, it can have other affixes, just no other hunter affixes is the key. No other hunter affixes is mandatory. So we could Chaos Spam, which gives us the most possible affixes, but it runs the risk of us running into other hunter affixes we don't want. What I will do is try alts first and see if we can land it. I don't have many alts, though. So uh, we'll see if we get lucky. Also, I should uh, augment. It is a suffix. I should augment prefixes, too. Um... Hunter is suffix for Tailwind. So I should augment any prefixes where possible. And I should type Tailwind in here. Dexterity is a suffix. Suffix. That is a suffix. So the advantage of the alts is it's potentially going to take longer to hit it, like a longer time <laughs> investment. But uh, the advantage is we're much more likely to only get the Tailwind. Any other hunter affixes screw up our 
um, potential awakener orb, and it's a, it's it's too risky. It's too risky to do. But I am going to run out of vaults, though, so... I have 101. You have 101 ults? Yeah. How much are ults? Like 16 for a chaos or something? Like 7 to 8 each for a chaos? Mm, what do you reckon, chat? Should I, should I gamble on the chaos spams? All right. <sighs> Typically, I've gotten this in, well, usually around 100 chaos. That's how my average probably ended up being. Maybe like 80 to 100 chaos. Hmm. I'll try to do some things. Hmm. Show me that Tailwind, baby. And only that Tailwind. The odds are low, I think. Of getting Tailwind with nothing else. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try for it. <laughs> we're gonna try for it. We're gonna do our best. Of course, if we just accidentally land amazing boots, we could always just sell them and buy another base. But uh well we'll see what we ended up with, eh? That's the uh I guess if if you want to consider an upside of chaos spamming, is you there's a small chance you might actually accidentally just end up with amazing boots. Pretty low odds though. We are out of chaos orbs. It's like fifty chaos plus I'll sell my only Exalted Orb and try and make this happen, eh? <laughs> oh. All right, continuing the Chaos Spam. Let's see how we go. I'm gonna roll Tailwind and four other affixes from Hunter, I bet. <laughs> you get to witness some good old fashioned Chaos Slaughter here. Honestly, this league has been fantastic for Chaos slaughtering the likes of which we haven't seen in Path of Exile for years and years. It truly is a beautiful period in Path of Exile's history right now, seeing this level of chaos massacring occurring, but the sheer, the sheer beauty of all of these chaos orbs being thrown into the ether <laughs> without Tailwind rolling. Um, okay, look, I was sure that in this Exalt Worth of Chaos, we were going to get the Tailwind. But, uh... Now I'm a little concerned, chat. I'm starting to get worried. I didn't want to walk away with a failed crafting attempt here. But uh, I'm getting a little bit nervous now. Exiles? Making me nervous. Oh dear, that's a, that's a lot. We're like 200 cows plus. Well, that's like probably my longest streak without seeing Talon. Jesus. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, 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 ooh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little tough right there. Ooh, hey, yep. To to. Oh, Ames. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, uh, ooh. I have an ancient orb, oh my god. I can sell you how many ults for an ancient orb? Equals 6.25, that's slightly under market rate. I'll take it. 200? 300? 400. Alright, we're going for the ults then. They were, they were cursed ults. Wait, cursed ults for my cursed boots? Maybe they'll cancel each other out. Double negative. Oh! We might be onto something here. And I'm looking for that big tail win right about now. <laughs> Alright, that puts us at uh, about 150 ults. And 200 chaos so far. Plus a few scour arcs. So, that was uh, open. Lo-fi beats to chill and alt to YouTube playlist. <laughs> and before I get it and roll over, I'll rage quit for the day if I if I get it and roll over it accidentally. <laughs> I will. I'll quit for the day. <laughs> Don't test me, game. Game, I only need one modifier. That isn't that much to ask, right? Like, there's like heaps of affixes, right? And I only need one of them. That shouldn't be that much to ask at all. Currency deletion string. It... it Today is a bit of a currency deletion stream. You're not wrong. I had currency, and now I don't. Under our last hundred alts, chat. Baby. Forty alts left. We can do this. I'm feeling it. Fleas two tone. Alright. No red hot chili peppers energy here. Viral two tones. Oh yeah, that's the big dick energy. No. No big dick energy. Sorry. Fawns? Nope, sorry, Bambi. Gazelles? Nope, sorry, Bambi again. <laughs> Why do you keep murdering Bambi? <laughs> Keeps coming up. Wasps? Nope, B movie was better. 
Zafra? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Gazelles? <gasps> Sorry, Bambi. Wasps. Oh, oh. B-Movie's got another chance. No. Three. Two. One. Zero. <laughs> okay, wait. There's another chance, chat. I finally sold my bone helmet. I've had this for ages. I've dropped the price so many times. Is he about to pump 75C volts in those boots? No, I'm gonna just put the trick chaos straight into him. Here's what's gonna happen, ready? I'm gonna I'm gonna take you step by step about what, what's about to occur. I'm gonna chaos spam them. I'm gonna get the tailwind in this 80 alts, 80 chaos. And then there's gonna be another affix and I'm gonna annul them to try and hit the other affix and I'm gonna annul the tailwind off. And then I'm gonna go play Nova Drift for the day, <laughs> for the rest of the day. <laughs> you ready? That's exactly the pro the series of events that are about to occur. Prepare to pay witness to that series of events. Hey, thank you very much as well. Appreciate it. Enjoy Nova Drift. Fantastic game. All right, last 30 chaos. Oh, oh yes, the break. The clear head was what did. Oh, and it doesn't have any other affixes. Fuck <laughs> yes. My prediction was incorrect. I don't need to annul it. I'm not going to annul off the tailwind. Jesus. We did a chat. See? Walking away for a minute, getting a coffee, taking a breath, coming back to it with fresh clicking fingers, fresh RNG. I refreshed my RNG seed. Feels good, man. Now it's time for the big peen craft. It is time for the big peen craft. All right, everyone, I need you to hold your breaths. All right, all. Uh, folks, we annulled off the fizz added colds. I'm gonna do it this way. I was about to do it the wrong way around. <laughs> oh god, that would have been right bad. All right, everybody, I need you to hold your breaths. Have you been holding your breaths? I need you to keep holding your breath, okay? Don't pass out, but but keep holding your breath, okay? Guys, I want 30 move speed, freaking double res life boots here. Ready? Or at least not five move speed or ten move speed or something, okay? Don't give me, don't give me, keep keep holding your breath, chat. I'm dying. No, no, keep holding your breath. Thank you very much. <sighs> Alright, you can breathe. You can breathe now, chat. Ugh. Chat? It, chat? You didn't hold your breath hard enough, chat. They're not very good. However, they do have an open prefix. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Mastercraft on the life. Vendor it. <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna Mastercraft on the move speed, even. And then we're gonna slam the suffix. That's what we're gonna do. Give me the move speed. 24 move speed, nailed it. Amy, you know that exalt you just found? You said it was a sign. Can I can I loan an exalt of you? <laughs> can I have a small <laughs> small small loan of one exalt? I was just saying I shouldn't offer Ziggy any more currency. He should just spend his own. But... Why I swear every time I block all the prefixes, someone in chat says block mana. <laughs> all the prefixes are blocked. I can't roll mana. Every time I do this, chat's like block mana. <laughs> I've already blocked all the prefixes. <laughs> Oh god, how do you guys say this every time? Um, you gonna loan me an exalt names? Sorry. Uh, let me think. Open your, uh, stash chat. Yeah? Okay, I'll show you what I'll do. What you need. Oh, two exalt shards? Oh, Ma Ames, can I buy two exalt shards off you? Never mind. You just ruined it. There we go. Alright, now that's yours. This is point... What's this? 10% of this exalt is Amy's, so it's 10% lucky. Alright, chat. No, it's all your luck. Should I block mana? <laughs> All right. T1 res. Here we go. T1 res. Give me fire res. I really need fire res. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, pretty good. Tier 3 cold res. Hey, much nicer. There we go. All right. Okay, okay. Now, keep in mind my last pair of boots didn't have life either, so this is a step up. We have a uh, total of 79 resistances, Tailwind Elusive. We will be faster despite the loss of 6% move speed. We're going to be faster because of the Tailwind. 10% more action speed. Oh, maybe. 
That's what I'm talking about right there. Celebratory map run. Yay! Currency. I'm completely depleted right now. I'm so broke. Wee! We're zooming now. <laughs> ding 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 bop bop. It was pretty good in the end. It was pretty good. We uh it was uh some of the roughest it was the roughest pair of boots I ever crafted. And uh You know it could have gone it could have gone better.